Guess what just came in the mail? My new Predator shovel. This is Jim's. I used it once. Just to remember how awesome it was the first plug that I used back when I first got my first Phoenix shovel. Actually, the Phoenix shovel that I'm currently using uh, about two years ago. Two, uh, almost three years ago. Three years ago. I've had it for three years and I've never sharpened it. This one's brand new, obviously, today. I got one for me, one for Jim. I'll just give Jim one. And this is my backup. But I got the Hornet shovel. Yeah, bring it on. I'll actually measure them out here. Show you the difference between these two. The Phoenix shovel is seven inches wide, right here, right at the foot, right? Six inches wide, excuse me, six inches wide by nine inches long, the spade is. 34 inches long. Right. The Hornet shovel is seven inches wide. It's seven and a half inches wide by eleven inches long, and forty, almost forty inches long, forty and a quarter inches long. But there's a big difference between these shafts on here, man. This thing is huge compared to. The Phoenix shovel. It's a lot girthier, man. A lot girthier. Right? I'll show you right here. I just dug a plug right there with the with the Hornet shovel. It's hard ground here, right? My backyard is really hard ground. I'll dig with the Hornet the uh, Phoenix shovel here. I can't go all the way down with this, this shovel in my hard soil right now. It's pretty dry. So perfect shove plug every time just like my videos right I like the Phoenix shovel because it has this parabolic shape right here right it makes a cone so when you dig your plug there it's not gonna pull your shovel forward and go straight in the ground there it's gonna want to just go it's just gonna want to naturally go this way when you when you stab your shovel in it look at it it just pulls back man it makes a perfect cone shaped plug and when you have a shovel that's straight like the spartan i, I just sold my spartan um last week the spartan is a straight shovel right it has a small bevel right in the center and but it's a straight shovel and in my soil here the soil gets really hard compact and um and in the, in the winter time it's really moist and for majority of the year it's really moist and if i want to have a shovel that goes straight down the ground there um you have to pry on the ground really hard to pop that out because a lot of earth is still connected to that plug that you just dug right and when you do that um it com it compacts the soil around your plug and they just don't sit in there right after you put your plug back in there you have a big gap around the edge and it's just hard to get that to heal up right you know um, around the plug there on the edges of your plug you want to have no gaps so all that soil is connected to your plug and even the bottom too and the, the phoenix shovel makes those perfect plugs man because the whole spade is parabolic right there right awesome shovel the best shovel i've ever owned in my life man i've broken so many shovels i've had a lot of high-end lash uh um grave digger shovels i've had i've used a lot of uh the uh groundhog shovels i've broken several of those but this thing is super heavy duty i, I it won't break you know i have almost a million plugs with my phoenix shovel um, my my phoenix that I'm using now, but this shovel doesn't have a parabolic shape the whole spade, right? It's kind of flat right here And that's what I like about the phoenix shovel because you have that fulcrum point right here right there Once you drive that shovel all the way down the ground there You have a prying point right here and you have it just pops that plug up naturally Once you once you pop that plug once you drive that shovel down a little bit my soil is so hard here 
um my soil is so hard it's just not going to want to do it you know um it's going to crumble really bad it's going to crumble really bad in this spot i'm not going to be able to drive it down it's just so hard you know this this shovel here is not really meant to dig cone shaped plugs it's meant to work in the farm fields you know i'm not going to be taking this thing out to the curb strap see see how the soil is all crumbly there i want to scoop all that stuff out fast right and that narrow shovel right there is not cutting it in the farm fields i used it last year and the year before that in the farm fields and when you dig a plug in farm fields it just wants to crumble on you right and getting all that dirt out and exposed it can be a feat especially with a smaller shovel like a narrower shovel like a four or a five inch spade um it just takes you a long time to scoop all this it's like trying to take your finger and scooping the dirt out you know it just wants to fall off the shovel you can't get a lot of dirt um inside the scoop of a shovel um on that one and the smaller shovels i just wanted a, something a little bit bigger to move some dirt you know move some dirt out of the hole there i will not be using this in the curb strips because it just doesn't make clean plugs and it's a humongous shovel you know this this grip right here is super heavy duty it's not painted it's not uh it's not powder coated like the phoenix shovel but i don't care you know um i don't really care if it's painted or not you know i use them a lot anyway so my other shovel's pretty beat up and it uh it's still sharp as ever um i have almost like i said almost a million plugs with my phoenix shovel there and it's still sharper than ever but this one i'll give to jim and i'll be using this one in the farm fields this horn will be a very very good shovel for the farm fields only the farm fields i also have a ranger shovel too the ranger shovel is a straight shovel it, the, the ranger shovel is as long the the spade is as long as this one it's a little bit shorter in overall length it doesn't have this heavy duty um uh shaft on it it has the same size shaft as this right here but the ranger shovel um it's just really long and narrow right it just doesn't work for the farm fields man with that crumbly soil it's it's actually narrower than this shovel right here towards the end you know um this shovel does a lot better um an all-around shovel it does the curb strips it does the parks it does the schools it does the fields it can do it can go anywhere and it's a smaller shovel you know they're very expensive shovels this one costed um i think all together all three of these shovels here costed like 330 something bucks you know but i'll be putting the I'll be putting the foot pads, the foot pads on this Hornet shovel there. That was on my Spartan shovel. So, you know, you know the parabolic shape. This whole spade here is parabolic. If you look at this one right here, it's not quite all parabolic shaped. You know, I wish, I wish it was just a little bit more parabolic down here. I wish it wasn't such a flat spot right there. But I'm very happy with my purchases. Jim will be happy too because he gets a shovel well there's a reason why I can dig so fast and extract so many targets out because I have that Phoenix shovel man. that's the key man to digging out targets fast is your tools man your hand digger is important too you know, having a hand digger thank you having a hand digger that's sharp um, really helps out a lot it can get through the roots and having a shovel that digs clean plugs helps out a lot too because um and the shape of your shovel if you have a shovel that has a straight spade on it you know you're having to pry on the ground a lot and all that ground down there wants to crumble out when you pop that plug and you're putting a lot of force on that that plug there on the sidewall of that hole and there's always a gap there you know all these guys who use these straight shovels man they're you know in in my area they just tear the ground up you know they just, it takes a long time to to uh for to, to clean up your mess with this um predator phoenix sh shovel man it just has increased my fines rate because i'm not taking my time and cleaning up the, my mess i'm my target recovery 
it has increased probably five times since I got the Phoenix the Phoenix shovel and that is not a lie you know when when I had those older shovels you know like all those older shovels um, with the straight spades on them you know it takes you a long time to clean up your mess man because you it, uh, it just wants to go straight down on the ground there you want to dig a cone you want to dig a cone that will come out clean and it'll go back in clean and the the straight shovels just don't do that man you have to pry on that ground and the more you pry on that ground the more chance that you have that that plug is going to fall apart and it's going to make a big mess if you can keep all that that soil together in one perfect perfectly shaped cone and then take your dirt that you extract from your plug and just throw it right back down your hole you're saving so much time if you can save 30 seconds per hole that is a lot of targets a lot more targets that you can be recovering at the end of the day thank you for watching subscribe